Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Samer and I work in data analytics. And in today's video, we will be doing a data analysis on the show to catch a predator. But in today's episode, I'm not focusing on all the predators. I'm only focusing on one. And that one is Lorne Armstrong. This predator is known for his notoriously long chat log. I believe it may be even the longest chat log we've ever seen on To Catch a Predator. I mean, even when Chris Hansen walked in on him with the big stack of papers, I thought to myself, Oh, dang. That's a lot of data. And in this video, we're putting the memes aside. We're putting all the jokes aside and all the moments we heard from Lorne aside. What we're going to be doing is we'll be performing a data analysis on the Lorne and Kayla chat log. Stay tuned. On Monday, September 17, 2007, at approximately 9.22 p.m., Lorne began his conversation with Kayla. The message had started off as, Hi, ASL please. ASL meaning age, sex, location. Kayla responded by saying, 13, female, Kentucky. When she asked him for his ASL, he said, 36, male, Nashville. Now, you already noticed that his age is almost triple Kayla's age. But anyway, the conversation went on for 32 consecutive days. The conversation started on September 17, 2007, and ended on October 18, 2007. To be specific, the last text sent was at 7.37 p.m., and it was from Kayla saying, Love you. Now, between the first and last message, there have been thousands of messages exchanged between these two. In total, 15,971 messages were exchanged. As you can see from the distribution here, the messages are right about the same in terms of quantity. Kayla had a total of 7,385 messages, while Lorne had a total of 8,586 messages. So this is about a 16% difference between the number of messages. Now, as you can see in the graph, these are the messages that were sent over time between Kayla and Lorne. Kayla has the red color, and Lorne has the blue color. And you can notice that the number of messages are right about the same, with Lorne being somewhat above Kayla's messages. Now we do notice that there was a drop in messages from September 17 all the way until the end of September. But then by the end of September all the way until October 8, we've seen a significant increase in messages. And we've also seen an increase in messages towards the middle of October as well, which is when they were closing out their conversation. But overall, there wasn't really a specific pattern. We've noticed some peaks and drops in the chat over the days. If we look at their conversations by the hour, we can tell that they spend a lot of their time chatting at night, which is no surprise. We do notice that things really start kicking off at 8 p.m. Then they has a big significant jump at 9 o'clock, and then 10 and 11 have the maximum number. And then things calm down by midnight a little bit more. And then for the rest of the day, there really isn't much going on in terms of chat. We can also see the messages sent per weekday. We notice that there's a high volume of messages between the two, at the beginning of the week, starting from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We do see a significant drop on Thursday and Friday in terms of messages, and then things jump slightly back up again on Saturday and Sunday, and then they pick up momentum at the beginning of the week. But again, you can see that the number of messages are almost split in half between the two. Now, of course, Lorne has slightly few mess fewer messages more than Kayla, but that's the distribution for the weekday messages. There was a total of 82,889 words exchanged between both Kayla and Lorne. One might imagine that the number of words used by each person is fairly even, considered that the number of messages are also even as well. But it actually turns out that there is a significant difference between the two. Looking at this graph, Kayla's words are sitting at 22,287, while Lorne is sitting at a massive 60,602 words. That is about a 172% difference between the words. Just to put things into perspective as to how big Lorne's word count is, the book Lord of the Flies has a total word count of 59,900 words while Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stones has a total of 76,944 words. And then you have Lorne's chat log sitting somewhere in between those two. 
So just think of the magnitude of words that Lauren has used. You can even notice the significant spike in this graph. As you can see, Lorne's magnitude is way higher than Kayla's magnitude, but they do follow, those, follow the same patterns in terms of the chats. But again, look at the magnitude of Lorne's words. And Lorne has used a lot of words and we'll be diving a lot deeper into the kind of stuff that he said. Another thing about the word count over here is we notice that Kayla tends to use much fewer words in her messages than Lauren does. If you look at the very left bar, you can see that Kayla is really dominating the majority of the category where there's only zero to two words per message. So you can tell that Kayla is a quick chatter and a quick talker. And as you progress to the right of the graph, you will see that Lauren is dominating the messages that involve more and more words. Okay, now it's time to look at the content of the words. Now there's no surprise here, but the most commonly used word among both Kayla and Lauren happens to be the same word, and it is lol. Lol is the most frequently used word between these two. Kayla has used the word 691 times, and Lauren has used this word 1,551 times. Because both Kayla and Lorne use the word lol at a much higher rate than the rest of the words, I went ahead and I removed the word lol from the word cloud that I wanted to generate. And I generated a word cloud for both Kayla and Lorne just to see the differences between their top 100 words of choice in each of their conversations. So here we could take a look at Kayla's top 100 words and you'll notice that she uses a lot of language that resonates with a teenager back in the day and she's using a lot more of some innocent language and of course you can take the time to zoom in on this to look at each and every word but they tend to be some innocent words that are used by a teenager that you would typically get however if we look at Lorne's chat log and his top 100 words we'll notice that he has a bit more specific language in here he uses the word princess and penis and vagina a bit too many times. Uh, and it comes off to really give you the vibe of the kind of conversation he was having with Kayla. So if you want, you can even zoom in on this word cloud and you can even see what kind of words he's been using throughout this conversation. So in conclusion, when Chris Hansen stepped in on Lauren and called him a prolific chatter, he really wasn't lying. A matter of fact, prolific may have been even an understatement. Looking at the volume of the messages and the volume of the words that he's used in this conversation and the very specific language he's used, it puts him at an adjective that is far deeper than prolific. This has been a lot of messages and this is why he stands out as one of the main predators because he had a significantly long chat log and now we have the numbers to back it up. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different video on To Catch a Predator. Uh, if you'd like to see another predator and would like a data analysis on him, let me know and I'll be happy to look into it.